all those substances together they form the tissue okay uh okay but uh, do not get confused if you are asked question who gave the term uh, tissue and you do not see any option of embryo because uh, we are doing zoology and in zoology the term tissue was coined by bichat term tissue was given by bichat okay and we are studying tissues here and study of tissue is called histology study of tissue is called histology histo means tissue logy means study okay and who is the father of histology it's the bichat okay father of histology again bichat let me write it for the different okay mary franco is xavier bichat is the full name right he coined the term in relation to the animal anatomy and you will be asked question from the bichat only not from the engri okay but this term histology was not given by bichat he consider father of histology as bichat because he explained the tissue he gave the term tissue first but the term histology was given by do you all have your modules with you have you all received your modules packages in the no uh, in pdf form in pdf form bachcho not even in pdf form bachcho do you all see your notice board you do not see any pdfs there just check your notice board once bachche you will be having your packages there have you checked not there it was not there this to the tech team uh, they'll upload it for you soon okay okay so the term histology was given by mayer okay these are the name of all the scientists that you have to remember so what are all the types of tissue that we are going to discuss in this chapter what are all the types of tissue that we are going to discuss in this chapter okay scroll up already in ramsha done bachche okay animal tissue
so we'll be doing epithelial tissue then the connective tissue muscular tissue and the nervous tissue epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and the nervous tissue so we'll discuss each of these in detail let me tell you one thing about origin here which you have to remember by when i say origin or origin of any tissue of any organ any gland that means i am talking of the germinal layers now uh, do you all know what is meaning of germinal layer what are germinal layers mean what are germinal layers you must have studied in your ninth class that we are triploblastic and when i say we are triploblastic that means we have we are having all the three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm anyone having any doubt in the germinal layer please ask me okay ramsha during the embryonic development when a baby is developing during the embryonic development uh, first of all there is formation of these germ layers and these germ layer then further give rise to different you know your body structure your organs your parts all the body parts are made up from these germ layers organism having only two germ layer that is the ectoderm and endoderm they are considered as diploblastic right and organism having all these three germ layers they are considered as triploblastic and having these three germ layers is an is an advantage for us because uh, we are having more number of layers and more uh, complex organs can be formed right so these germ layers actually give rise to different uh, organs of your body different tissue of your body so epithelial tissue is derived what is diploblastic diploblastic are those organisms who are derived from just the two germ layers that is the ectoderm and endoderm so they are derived uh, so uh, your coelenterata and tinopora they are diploblastic and rest all the other phylum from platyhelminthes to chordates they all are triploblastic okay so epithelial tissue here the origin is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm all the three germ layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and connective tissue is derived from just the mesoderm muscular tissue is derived from just the mesoderm nervous tissue is derived from ectoderm clear everyone <laughs> shall i move forward shall i proceed to the next page
ओके वेटिंग Okay. <laughs> Now we'll first start with the epithelial tissue. Let me first draw a flow chart that how many types of epithelial tissue we have, what are we going to study, and then we'll come to the features and all the examples. So we will be studying Three types of epithelial tissue, बच्चों. Simple epithelial tissue, compound epithelial tissue. and specialized epithelial tissue right simple compound and specialized now simple epithelial tissue will be discussing uh, different types of simple epithelial tissue and uh, uh, the types will be based on the shapes there are squamous epithelial tissue there are cuboidal there are columnar based on the shapes does the shapes then we have ciliated glandular epithelial tissue yes we'll do it separately come under all these three yes right shri ciliated and pseudo stratified then we'll study compound epithelium in compound epithelium we'll be discussing the two types of compound epithelium that is the stratified one and the transitional one what are these type of epithelium we'll discuss in detail okay you just have to remember the name for now <laughs> the main difference between simple and compound epithelium is the number of layers of cell in simple epithelium there will be just a single layer of cells in compound epithelium there will be multi layers of cells okay stratified and transitional and specialized type of epithelial tissue will be neurosensory they are actually performing some other special functions other than this uh, absorption protection secretion neurosensory
Then we also have myoepithelial type of uh, myoepithelial tissue. Uh, epithelial tissue is just the covering of your structures. Okay, they they cannot contract, but in myoepithelial, like in memory glands, okay, the the covering of your lactiferous, they are able to contract also for the ejection of milk. So myoepithelial meaning myoepithelia means. that the epithelial tissue which will be behaving as muscles okay that is not fixed uh, ramsha see compound epithelium will have multi layers more than two layers will consider it a compound epithelium okay and then we have some pigmented cells we have some pigmented cuboidal cells in retina of your eyes so these are special types of epithelial tissue have performing some different function than their, than their usual functions so we'll study about these in detail first of all let me uh, tell you some features of the epithelial tissue Pig yes gunit pigmented cells of retina okay so now see the term epithelia was given by the scientist uh, ruyash term epithelia was given by ruyash okay and uh, epi means upon and thelia means to grow so epithelia means to grow upon so it is actually making the lining of most of your uh, your, your uh, body organs your body covering okay so epi means upon and thelia means to grow so epithelia means to grow upon